This is the Sunrise Daybreakers broadcast. Welcome to a brand new day. We're going to be talking about uh, the positive power of affirmations of love. I'm going to be leading a guided meditation of affirmations about loving ourselves this morning. This is your opportunity to connect to nature to connect the source, to connect to the community. And I just want to say thank you for joining. This is an opportunity to, like I say, connect with each other, with the fact that in, we can love ourselves by utilizing positive affirmations. It's all part of my morning routine. I get up early. I say a prayer of gratitude. That's what I start with is, is just thanking God that I'm alive for another day, the opportunity to learn, the opportunity to grow, to become a better person, to be working on achieving my dreams, my goals, and just enjoying, as uh, Joyce Meyer says, everyday life. Because for so many days, more than days, years, decades in fact in some circumstances that I just didn't enjoy everyday life. It was a grind. It was difficult. It was something that I didn't look forward to. But today I look forward to every day because I start it with gratitude. I say positive affirmations and that's what this is all about on Affirmation Monday. That's what we call it here in the Sunrise Daybreakers tribe. And it's about repeating affirmations. And so I'll lead a guided meditation in just a few moments here. I want to say welcome. I hope that you have had a great weekend, uh, a relaxing time maybe, or getting things done that you've been planning to try and get done, whatever you might have been doing, spending time with family. I hope that it was enjoyable. For me, it's the beginning of my work week again. Although I've got two jobs, I've got this. This is all part of my routine, the LWN Foundation. This is the inaugural broadcast from the LWN Facebook page. And so we're just trying to touch as many people to let you know there is hope. There is light in the darkness. And the way to achieve that is through po positive affirmations. And so that's what we're doing this morning. Now with the, the guided affirmation, what we want to do is, is prepare ourselves for this, okay? And in just a few moments, we'll take a, a, a couple deep breaths. I'll take about three or four deep breaths. I'll be breathing in through my nose. <sighs> Exhaling through my mouth, deep breaths. That oxygen, I, I just have a time with that word. That puts oxygen in your brain. Helps you be able to calm down a little bit. Maybe if there were some things that were bothering you. Helps you just to relax a little bit. You can close your eyes if you're not driving. If you're driving, please pay attention, attention to your driving. Come back to this, watch the replay. Uh, if you know somebody that can benefit from the power of positive affirmations, then please do share this out and uh, let your friends know. Uh, I use them on a regular basis. It's helping me to achieve my dreams and goals. Part of this getting prepared is the breathing exercises. And then I also like you to try and take note, uh, and if you have a journal, write in your journal. Just write down how you're feeling before we start this affirmation uh, meditation, then how you feel after the meditation. And maybe just which particular affirmation sticks out in your mind the most. Uh, and what we do is, is that I do this on a regular basis. I, I, I've been saying some of these affirmations for several years now. Most of them I'm going to say for the rest of my life because I just want to continue to affirm the truths about myself, about the things I'm trying to achieve. And what happens is, is with consistency... We're putting this information into our brain, and the best thing to do is to do this first thing in the morning or just before you go to bed. It's about putting positive information into our brains when it's in the beta state, okay? It's like a semi-dream state, and it's speaking right to our subconscious. And so that's why I start with that prayer of gratitude. It kind of sets the stage, as well as listening to inspirational or spiritual video putting all this good information into my brain to uh, make 
the day as good as I possibly can. Now, this doesn't mean that we're not going to experience some stuff that might test our patience, might be difficult, might be extremely bad news. But with the power of saying positive things versus the negative stuff, you're going to see a change in your attitude, in your life. You're going to start to see these things manifest for you. But it takes consistency. It takes determination. It takes discipline, dedication. And then it takes visualization of these goals already achieved. So when you say these, I love for you to repeat them with me. And then they're going to be available on our website soon. I've already got one set of affirmations up there on the website. We're working on rebuilding the, the website with a new web builder. And so hopefully in a week or so, we'll have that all worked out. In the meantime, lwnfoundation.org is there. It is available. We're going to be adding more content. We're just trying to make it better. We appreciate everybody who has particularly uh, liked the LWN Foundation uh, Facebook page, has taken time to go by the website. We appreciate this. This is part of our affirmations of affirming that we're going to reach as many people as we possibly can. And to continue to work towards being uh, a light in the darkness for people as well as a lot of goals that we have to be able to really reach out and help other people. People that want to help themselves, people that are looking to try and get a hand up, we're going to be here for you. Uh, we do it for ourselves, and when we do it for ourselves, we're able to do it better for other people. So that's what we do. So I say welcome, and I'm going to do a, a guided affirmations now is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to just say thank you for joining I'm going to just adjust this a little bit. Welcome to a brand new day. Happy Monday to you. I am going to start by reading or taking a few deep breaths. In through my nose and out through my mouth. In through my nose and out through my mouth. In through my nose, and out through my mouth. So I can already feel that I'm getting a little bit more calmer. And like I mentioned to you, I would love for you to be able to um, just take note of how you're feeling right now. And then you, we'll take note of how you feel after. And then which particular affirmation sticks out to you. So these are affirmations about loving ourselves and recognizing the fact that we are good people, that we can achieve our dreams and goals. So if you'd like to repeat after me, I choose to be happy. I am the master of my day. I do love myself. And life supports me in everything that I do. I am a loving soul in a human body. I am gentle. I am loving myself. I am worthy of love, kindness, and respect. I am radiating love. I am allowing abundance to flow through me. I love myself. I am making a positive influence in this world. I choose to be happy. Today is going to be an extraordinary day. I am grateful for my well-being. I am healthy in mind, body, and soul. I do love myself. I am finding new things to appreciate in my life. My mind and my heart are my best friends. I am flowing in synchronicity. In gratitude and love, I walk the path of success and life supports me on this journey.
I am life. I am flexible to change in my life. I am one with the power who created me. I am a powerful source of good. I am loved by society. I trust life. I love myself and I am loved by the universe. I am connected to life. I am here to shine the light of love. Abundance flows to me effortlessly. I choose to listen to my inner voice. I am clear on my vision and purpose in life. It is safe for me to express my desires. I ask and I will receive. I choose to be happy. I am worthy. I am a good person. I am making a positive impact in my life and others. I do love myself. By repeating these affirmations to yourself and doing that on a regular basis, you're going to see a big change in your life. Now, from a medical standpoint or a cognitive, I always refer to it as cognitive behavioral therapy. They've got a new word for it. I'm not even thinking what that new word is, and it really doesn't matter. But what it is, is it's about retraining our thinking. It's about the information that we put into our brain and that we believe is the truth becomes our belief system. It's our subconscious, and our subconscious is a tape player. That subconscious doesn't know right from wrong, real from not real. It knows what it knows because it was a tape player, because it was a statement or an opinion that we decided to accept for ourselves as truth became our belief system, became our morals. Some of this information wasn't really good information that we learned, particularly because just from the aspect of how many times we've been told no. And when you think about that, it's staggering. Now, sometimes we were told no for a very good reason. Sometimes we were told no for not such a good reason, but the, the fact of the matter is, is, is that that made us feel like, well, I'm wrong. Why did I even do that then? That was a waste of time. Nobody likes me. Nobody cares about me. Uh, they think I'm worthless. Well, those thoughts are just thoughts and they can become part of your belief system. But what I'm asking you to do is to release those negative self-limiting thoughts out of your life. Recognize that you have seeds of greatness within you. That you can achieve anything you want in your life. But it takes implementing, implementing the action plan. It won't just happen on its own. It won't happen if you don't believe in it. And it won't happen if you don't want it to. What I'm trying to let you know is, is that you are loved. You're loved by the universe. You're loved by myself. You're loved by the people that uh, are all part of the Sunrise Daybreakers tribe. And so many others. And sometimes that it's difficult to see that. And I recognize those, those feelings the emotion of worthlessness and distraught and anger and resentment and anxiety and depression because I've been there but I'm not there anymore because I do a routine. My routine involves gratitude and positivity and surrounding myself with positive people that support me in everything that I'm doing. Now, it doesn't mean that everybody is always going to agree with me. And it means that I need to listen to what other people say. I don't need to take offense to what they've said because 
When people are giving advice, it's not because they don't like you, it's because they actually care. It's just sometimes it might not come across in a loving manner. And so it's things that we need to work on to be able to be as understanding and compassionate as we possibly can. And you can do that through positive affirmations and repeating them on a daily basis. And you have to do it. I was started out saying, scientifically speaking, they say you have to do this and repeat it. Well, you have to believe it uh, for at least 21 days. Now, some people, they get it very quickly. Other people might not get it as quickly as the next guy because we're all unique in our, in our own way. And it just depends on how big a walls we have created in our life. And for a long time, I created some walls. And then I also threw in the towel, so to say, and said, you know what? I just don't even care, <laughs> you know? Um, and when you're there, it's, it's a dark place. And it's a dark place, though, that you can come out of. I came out of it. I believe that you can come out of it. And I'd love for you to be able to utilize the power of the positive affirmations and I am statements to be able to achieve those goals that you have in your life. Again, we all have seeds of greatness within us. In our own way, we're all unique. We all have abilities that we're good at. It's a matter of determining what those abilities that we're best at. And then, uh, you know, if you're passionate about it, then do something about it. Loving it, talking about it, but not doing anything about it isn't going to get any results. So I want you to get results, and to get results, you have to take action. Take action today to know that you're loved and say, I love you. I talked about this last week. Get to the point where you can look in that mirror and say, I love you to yourself. It's a beautiful thing. The power of the words alone set up a chemical change within our uh, bodies. It activates uh, the hormones that activate the pleasure center in our brain to, say, to feel good. Life is just too short. Let's just make the very, very best of it. It takes a routine, and that's what I talk about here, following a healthy routine. Affirmation Mondays like today. Tomorrow we'll talk about empowerment tips. Wednesday, we'll talk about health and wellness. Thursday, we'll talk about gratitude, being thankful. Friday, we're going to talk about love, loving Fridays and loving life. And if you put all of those things together, all those steps and the routine with it, on a daily basis, your life will change. I, I, I really guarantee it. <laughs> I've done it. The most uh, influential people in the world have done it. We've recognized that we can make mistakes and fail, but that the, that part is okay. That is part of life. But the, the, the magical part is that when you realize you've made a mistake or it was a bad choice or it didn't work out the way that you wanted it to, that you can change something about that and still work towards getting the result that you wanted to have. But it takes time, and that's where patience comes in. Now, I have a higher power. My higher power is whom I call God. You can call God the creative consciousness, the creative thought, imagination, the super consciousness. But in my world, it's the creator of all things the creator of nature, the creator of me, of you, of the trees and the flowers and the animals out there in the wildlife. Um, life is beautiful and let's enjoy it. You can. Now I turn over my life, I did a long time ago, to my higher power who guides and directs me and gives me the inspiration that I need to be able to achieve the things that I'm achieving. And so I give him or her or the thought or whoever, however you want to call it, <laughs> the glory. Because on my own will, 
I did a lot of good things, but I also made a lot of poor choices. And then I stuck in those poor choices for a long time. And I'm proud to say that I just don't do that anymore. So I want you to have a great life. And so I'm going to pray now. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your healing. I'm praying for you to achieve your dreams and goals. Dear Lord, thank you so very much for this morning. Thank you for this opportunity to be able to share my message of hope, of positive affirmations of loving ourselves. Help us to be able to be healed, Lord, if we're suffering for any particular reason, whether it's a health issue. Lord, you know that there's some close friends out there. I have many close friends that are going through some difficult times right now. Help us to be able to have the strength to be able to get through those difficult situations that we're experiencing, to be able to overcome the obstacles that might be holding us back, to be able to break through the barriers that we have set up in front of ourselves, to be able to see the trees for the forest, Lord, to be able to focus on our goals and our dreams and focus on being a better, healthier, happier person and keep us safe as we go about our journey. Lord, heal us from the sorrow and the sadness and the anger and, and, and the things that we do that just aren't healthy for ourselves. Allow us to be able to be healthy, lead productive lives in a loving, caring, and compassionate and understanding manner. And I pray these words and release them to the universe who believes and supports us in these truths. And I say, Amen. I say, Namaste. I say, Namaskar, because I honor thee. Thank you so very much for joining me this morning. Please take time to go by. Um, you know, if you're, if you're seeing this on a shared out uh, broadcast, or uh, a replay, uh, go to LWN Live with, or it's not live, <laughs> I'll get it right. Go to the LWN Foundation Facebook page, take a look at it. Go to the YouTube LWN Foundation. Reach out to us. If we can be of some sort of help or support, let us know how we can help. Let us know how we can be better. If you are feeling down and out and that there is no hope right now, know that there is hope. Say something to somebody or if you know somebody that's suffering deeply, particularly if they have made any comment about not wanting to live anymore or hating life so much and hating themselves so much, let's get them help. There's so many people out there that will help and it doesn't necessarily cost money to get this help. I've got a resource of information, lwnfoundation.org. We've got information up there. We're working on building it. Uh, as uh, Manny said, uh, better known as Emmanuel to me, we've got 800 numbers out there for outreach and websites. We've got affirmations. We've got inspirational stories. Take time for yourself today. Love yourself and enjoy your day. This is Stephen Smith, and I appreciate everybody has taken time to come and join me. I'll take a look at the comments because I do like to interact with the comments and shout out everybody that came to join me this morning. I will be back tomorrow morning at about 6.45 Eastern Standard Time. We'll welcome in a brand new day again, and we'll make that connection to nature, which is very healing, by the way. Take a walk in nature today. Just take a walk down the street. Just take some time for yourself. It's really super important. Because the better you take care of yourself, the better your life will be, and the better you'll be able to help others. Um, thank you again for joining me. So I'll be back tomorrow. We'll be talking about empowerment tip. Um, all right, everyone. Thank you so very much. Emmanuel Laverty, thank you very much. Happy Monday to you. Um, the new site is going to be uh, looking like we're at the end of the week. We appreciate everybody that joins us. Um, thank you so very much. Take care. Have a happy Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. This is Stephen Smith, and I am signing off from Sarasota, Florida. Have a blessed day, and bye for now.